I am no one, Gabrielle. I have no sparkles. Hi, guys. And we're going to have a little fun today. I feel like we're in for something really good. <laughs> she looks dangerous and fun. <laughs> right on. Hi, guys. This is Play It Again. I'm Ginger. And I'm Mike. And the wind has finally calmed down somewhat. Yeah, Although it's still still windier than we'd like. We but kept, uh, keep getting gusts, <laughs> guys. We're a few short weeks away from our new studio, and all of these problems will be fixed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I love living here, but sometimes it's a real challenge. So, Neil Hamilton emailed to let us know that Lucy Thomas put out a new song. Excellent. New cover. Uh, the Greatest Love of All. Now, you, you think this is the same one that we know from Whitney Houston, right? Maybe. I can't imagine covering some other version and not that one. Who knows? Uh, that makes sense. I can see her doing that. He also said she's 19 on as we record this today, February 21st. Nice. So if that's true, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Lucy. I can't believe she's only 19. <laughs> I'm old. Guys, I'm embarrassed by how little I was doing at 19 years old. And look at this girl. Yep. She's covering the greats. Yes. So, ready? I'm ready. Let's see. Bring it on. That's the one. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. To make it easier Let the children's laughter Remind us how we used to be Everybody's searching for a hero People need someone to look up to I never found anyone who fulfilled my needs A lonely place to be And so I learned <laughs> Sorry for the cat. <laughs> oh, I just knew she was going to make it in front of that camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Our cats decided to adventure. That was nailed. Nailed, nailed it. Nailed it. Yes. I couldn't say it any better. Ooh. Okay. You nailed it. Yeah. Uh, now, he said his favorite version of that song prior to this one was George Benson. Which I'm not familiar with George Benson. I'm a little familiar with George Benson. I can picture his face and but, kind of hear his voice, but I could never do it justice trying to, <laughs> to describe it to you. That song was always Whitney Houston's song mm -hmm. for me. So it was nice. She did a really good job of, of covering it. 
of course. Like definitely meeting that grade. It's oh. a, it takes something to oh, meet yeah. the same grade as Whitney Houston. Oh, she's so smooth, right? Oh, yeah. It's just, beautiful, just right? smooth. Yeah. I, I would like to see a little bit more pacing. Just a little. Would you? Yeah. There's something to be said about the pregnant pause sometimes. Mm. But other than that, like the tone was beautiful. She hit all the notes great. And I actually, I'll be honest, and this is going to be... Um, sacrilege for many but i like lucy's voice better than whitney houston's oh voice. i do hands down yeah i mean uh, which isn't saying much I, I mean i admire whitney houston's skill and everything but oh, i was yeah. never a fan like no well not that not kind of music after. isn't your kind of music no. you mostly you entertain me it's just <laughs> it's it's just a <laughs> it's a happy consequence for mike that in entertaining my enjoyment of this kind of music, you get to listen to Lucy. Yeah, no, she's a great. really beautiful voice. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, thank you, Neil, for the suggestion. Happy birthday again, dear Lucy, if yes. you ever see this. <laughs> and in the meantime, you can play it again. Or does it get stuck in your... <laughs> Ginger's got the practical question. <laughs> I'll hold your upper part still while you shake, baby. Help you learn. <laughs> the coconut just fell right behind us. You good, bro. And we go, dude.